The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video for you guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new promo that dropped today, and that is the Super Bowl 51 promo, guys. Pretty exciting stuff here. This is actually, uh, to me, it looks like one of the better promos that they've dropped this year. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think that they gave us a pretty decent grouping of players. And also, I really like the fact that you can actually get some of this stuff for free by doing solo challenges or even actually just by logging into the game. So... We're going to get into that information here in just a little bit here, guys. But first of all, I want to point out when you log into the game right now, you're going to see that they have new packs. You do have the Super Bowl Past Pack and the Super Bowl Present Pack. So both of these are going to contain different types of players, obviously. Uh, we've seen this on a couple of different promos that they've done where they had like the AFC Pro Bowl, the NFC Promo, Pro Bowl promo. Um, and obviously, guys, there's, like I said, different things included in each of these packs. So when you go in and actually take a look inside of the store you're going to see a couple of different options for packs that you can purchase uh, I mentioned before obviously we've got the Super Bowl pass pack the present and then there's also the Super Bowl booster pack here as well as the Super Bowl 51 pack now the Super Bowl pass pack is going to give you guys uh, three Super Bowl past gold players and we'll go over those in just a little bit here as well as three you know it's basically like kind of almost like a pro pack on top of that it does contain two gold or better players silver players and a couple other items on top of it. But basically, guys, not anything great beyond the fact that it does contain the three Super Bowl past gold or better players. Um, same thing with the, obviously, the present, but different types of players included. It is the Super Bowl present players as opposed to the Super Bowl past players. The Super Bowl booster pack is just going to give you guys uh, a couple of different players beyond that. It gives you three Super Bowl, uh, again, gold or better players, and then one other team item. And it also is going to contain a Super Bowl elite player that you cannot auction or trade and we'll get into those players as well here in just a few moments um, the Super Bowl 51 pack I love the card art on these by the way I just want to point that out uh, particularly I really like the Super Bowl ones uh, but I think they did a great job on both the present and the past as well these this is a good looking promo uh, but the Super Bowl 51 pack look how beautiful that looks man like they did it's hard to make a rainbow colored thing look good and they did a really nice job here so I, I like that uh, now the Super Bowl 51 pack is going to contain one Super Bowl gold or better player, two silver players, three bronze players, and then four other team items. So basically, guys, this is kind of a smaller version of what you would get with one of the other packs here, the present or the um, the past pack. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Um, now, it does sound like you're actually able to still pull the Super Bowl players out of pro packs, but we haven't really seen that confirmed one way or, an or another yet. Uh, that has been the case in other promos however now I do want to get into exactly what this promo is as well um, so when you go in here and you take a look at the sets you're going to see the new sets that they added there's 11 of them for the Super Bowl promo now let's start from the bottom um, you guys got a little preview there at the top but let's start from the bottom because I think this is an easy way of uh, of doing it now the first ones is that you can add any three team of the year items and earn yourself a gold or better Super Bowl player. Now, I doubt a lot of people are going to be doing this, but there might be cases where you have collectibles or things like that that you want to get rid of, and you can utilize those for this new promo. So that's always a good thing. Those didn't become completely useless. I always like to see that. Now, going up from there, you can take any of these, uh, okay, so the other thing, when you log in first, let's 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 go back here just, to, just for a moment, uh, because when you log in right now, you're going to get yourself, uh, just like we've seen throughout the year, they're doing uh, free players, basically. So the newest one and the one that I just got when I logged in is a brand new 88 overall Julian Edelman. Now, this is a limited use card, but it is 88 overall. Uh, you can use it for a little while, so you know it is what it is. The, the attributes aren't anything spectacular, but the big thing for this is that you can actually add, add it to the set, the Super Bowl giveaway set. Now, when you log in each day this week, there's going to be six of these. When you log in, you're going to be able to take those players if you don't want them for your team, and you can add them to the set. And the set is actually going to give you a guaranteed elite Super Bowl player. Uh, 
So that is actually really, really nice. I, I do have to admit that that's one of the things that I was impressed by. Uh, you get free players, and you can actually turn them into something that is valuable for once. That's a pretty rare thing for EA, so I do have to give them credit. Now, this can be an elite player either in the past promo or the present promo. And again, we'll go over all those players here in just a moment. A couple other things that you can do. You can take the Super Bowl players that you get out of these sets, the gold players, or out of the, the packs and things like that. Uh, you can take those gold players and you can turn them into team of the week or football outsider items i don't really know why people would do that but that's an option giving you options is never a bad thing i i have to say that uh even if it doesn't seem like many people would use it even if only a couple people use it and find value in it i think that's okay um now when you go in you're going to be able to actually get uh an upgraded elite player as well now in order to get that elite player out of the gold players you're going to need 15 of the gold players uh in order to get that elite player now the 15 or the the gold players that you're going to be able to potentially get are uh as you see on your screen here for the present players. Now, the present players, uh, those ones are going to be David Andrews, uh, Rashid Hagman, Justin Hardy, Chris Long, Eric Rowe, and Levine Toilolo. So those are your they're of the players that you can get for the present. Now, for the past, we have Danell Ellerby, Duke Eniacho, Jacoby Jones, Jeremy Lane, Chris Matthews, and Luis Vasquez. So that's the quick rundown, guys. But all of those are basically going for about 4,000 coins. You'll need those players to turn them into elites if you want to do it that way. All of those players are 84 overall, so they're not really too valuable at this point. They're basically valuable for this specific set um, or this specific set. So you can either take the present ones or the past ones, put them in the sets as you need them. Um, and uh, obviously, you're going to get yourself an elite player based on that. Now, with those elite players, you can either decide if you want to keep those, and I'll pull those up on the screen here. For the past, uh, we have uh, some pretty good players, honestly. I think that uh, not anything amazing, but we've got C.J. Anderson, Alex Boone, Chris Clemens, Coney Ealy, Paul Kruger, and Mike Wallace. So those are your past players. And then if you go down to the present, you're going to see here we have, uh, let's see here, uh, the present, Martellus, no, excuse me, uh, Ritem, I'm, I'm going to pronounce this just terribly, I'm sorry, Ritemo, Allen, Allen Branch, Marcus Cannon, Jalen Collins, Chris Hogan, and Jake Matthews. So those are the players that you would get as far as your, basically what we're referring to them as base elite Super Bowl players. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, when you have those players, you can take those and upgrade them to the Super Bowl captains if you want to. Now, in order to do that, you will need eight of those elite players, either on the past or the present side. For the present, you have four potential captains that you can get. We have a Martellus Bennett. We have a Donta Hightower. We have a Tevin Coleman. And we have a Keanu Neal. So, Pretty nice cards, 94 overall for each of those. Dante Hightower, I think, looks like a pretty nice one. Um, I always like Tevin Coleman because he's got some speed to him, but uh, definitely nice players there. And then, obviously, on the pass side, we have players as well, the captains on those. Russell Wilson, this is a 95 overall Russell Wilson. Um, we have an Eric Williams, we have a Bob Sanders, and we have a James Harrison. So all of the past captains are 95 overall or above. So... Just based on the overalls, my recommendation would be if you're either going for the past or the present, I would probably lean towards doing the past just given the fact that we have the higher overall players for the past than you do for the present. So just a quick little tip there. Now, last but not least, you can take those captain players and you can turn them into the past bosses or the present bosses so as you guys see on your screen here we have the 97 overall julio jones boss super bowl card here this is obviously a super bowl present player we also have malcolm butler you will need all four of those captains in order to get the julio jones or the malcolm butler so this can get pretty damn expensive, guys. Let's just take a look here and see if any of these have been completed yet uh, for the present. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like they have. So uh, right now, Martellus Bennett. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so obviously, we've got these ones here um, for the the players that you can add. So like Martellus Bennett going for 340,000 coins. We have uh, Dante Hightower. Let's just take a quick look here at these guys. 
400,000 roughly, it looks like. Yeah, 364,000, that might be a little bit of a mini snipe. But we'll, obviously, I don't have the coins for it right now. Tevin Coleman as well, uh, looks like 500,000 for him, my goodness. And then uh, last but not least, Keanu Neal should be pretty cheap, I would think. Nope, never mind. Strong safety, Keanu Neal might be the most expensive one, 510,000. My goodness, man, that is crazy. So obviously, you guys can see here, at least at this point, these sets are not going to be easy to complete. They're going to be quite expensive in order to get yourself the Julio or the Malcolm Butler. And then, obviously, on the past side, we have two legends. We have a Reggie White and we have a Marcus Allen. Two beastly cards on that end of things as well. These cards are going to contain uh, upgraded chemistries as well. We've got, like, Super Bowl pass chemistries, ankle breaker for uh, Marcus Allen. We've got the Energizer ability. We've got, uh, for Reggie White, it's got, obviously, the Super Bowl pass as well. Pass rusher times two and the jump the snap ability. I mean, all kinds of different beast chemistries here as well if that's something that you're into so guys you guys can see here obviously this is a little bit of a complicated promo it takes a lot of players and a lot of upgrading it's actually going to take you a little bit of grinding if this is something that you want to do or if you just have a ton of coins you can just go buy the cards obviously so uh yeah anyway this is pretty interesting guys i like the promo overall i think it looks good the other thing here is that you can actually start to get some of these players just by actually going in and doing your standard solo challenges, which I always like to see as well. Super Bowl solo challenges, they added 24 of them. Um, I don't know exactly when they come out of the game. It, I don't know if it even says on here. Uh, but my assumption is they won't be in the game much longer past beyond the Super Bowl. So make sure that if you're interested in doing these, that you get in there and actually complete them. So the first things first here. You've got the Super Bowl past solo challenges, and when you go in here and take a look at these, you're going to see, obviously, it's pretty similar to the other ones that we've seen throughout the year, but you actually get some pretty decent stuff out of this. So the first few are just coins, and then you're going to start to get things, uh, once you get up here a little bit, you're going to start to get a gold Super Bowl player pack, so that, I believe, is just going to contain one Super Bowl gold player. So it's not really huge value, but a little bit, and it gets you a little bit closer towards doing those uh, those sets, and uh, you know, like we saw, the Super Bowl players are pretty much going for about 4,000 coins. And then once you get up here a little bit higher, you're going to start to see those Super Bowl present packs. And those are the more expensive ones, the ones that are actually on the, the market right now to be able to be purchased. I believe they were 60,000 coins. So you get some serious value out of that. Uh, that's going to, again, contain at least three guaranteed gold Super Bowl players. So uh, in this case, gold Super Bowl present players. Beyond that, you do also get an additional one of those as you move up a couple more games. Beyond that, you are going to get yourself a Super Bowl Elite player as well. Now, this is a Super Bowl Elite present player. The last one, I'm a little bit confused here. I'm not exactly sure why they decided to go with this one being the Super Bowl Past Elite player. When it's part of the Super Bowl, or excuse me, this one, excuse me, is, is part of the present when it's in the past set. So it's a little bit confusing here why they decided to put like Super Bowl Elite present into the Super Bowl Past solo challenges. I'm, I'm not quite sure I understand that, and it's actually the opposite on uh, the other sets as well, or on the other uh, set of solo challenges, so if you go up here, same exact setup as far as uh, you get contracts early, then you start to get gold Super Bowl player packs, and then you start to get the Super Bowl past pack, again, why is the Super Bowl past pack in the Super Bowl present solo challenges? I don't know if they made an error there or if that's just what they intended to do. It's a little bit weird, though. I'm, I'm really not understanding it. Again, Super Bowl Elite Pass player as part of the Super Bowl present sets uh, of solos. Like, really confusing. And then, obviously, at the end, they have it right where it's Super Bowl Present Elite. So I'm not really sure why they decided to go that direction. But the point is here, guys, if you have time to knock these solo challenges out, Make sure that you complete them because you can get some seriously good value out of these cards. Um, we obviously saw there was uh, a potential to do some upgrade sets and potentially get yourself a couple hundred thousand coins worth of value out of this whole thing. So with that said, guys. That is going to wrap up this video. Hopefully, I didn't rant for too long. I know it was a little bit uh, here and there, a little bit scattered, but that's kind of how this promo is. It's a little bit confusing, but overall, again, I think it's one of the better promos that they've done this year, especially given the fact that you get some free stuff, so I definitely always like to see that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it helped you out a little bit. If you did enjoy it, please help me out by dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys all so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys again soon.